<clears throat> Hello guys, uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, scan engine issues, specifically network issues. There are few problems that you can face uh, against the scan engine itself, but today I'm going to just talk about the initial step to how to troubleshoot it because it is if you make the network connectivity it's at least checked you you have done 90 percent of the, the troubleshoots and in 90 percent of the cases is just related to the to the communication between console to scan engine and scan engine to console so to be short everything that i will Cover today you can find on the documentation as always and uh, the most important thing in here that I want to highlight it's the port the communication the port between console to scan engine and the engine to console so as we can see in here my my scan engine has a uh, an orange uh, arrow or if I keep refreshing it might go to red it just means that there is some some problem let's let's say like that there is some problem that uh, if I try to run now uh, is uh, a scan use this scan engine two things might happen it might fail straight away or it might keep endless running forever and uh, this is the kind of behavior that you can face as well and uh, and the troubleshoot would be the same so always when you have any problem with this scan engine come to this page uh, to the where you can see all the scan engine and uh, just see if the arrow there it's green or not you can always refresh it should be something quick especially if you have like a short amount of scan engines in my case uh, what is my case so again we have a problem it is just a state dynamic requested could not refresh so it cannot communicate I'm stating that there is a problem because I have produced the problem to record the video, obviously. So what would be the troubleshoot, the initial troubleshoot? You know, let's say that you 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 just, you don't have any experience on Insight VM, what you should do. So it's simple. Uh, SSH to your console and uh, what I have done and just do the initial step. The initial step is just to guarantee that the console can see and can communicate with the scan engine and after the opposite. So on the installation folder, OPT Rapid7 Expose, you have uh, on the console, you have the folder called NSE, and then you have Nmap there. Obviously this path can change. Uh, this is just the default path for the installation, but you can choose whatever you want inside your company. So let me just clear. What I'm gonna do is, by default, you don't have the permissions on the nmap, so I have just add the permissions. And now I'm gonna nmap dash p for ports. Which port I'm gonna nmap? So I, I, I said this is my console. So if this is my console, I have to nmap the port 40814. So 40814 and the IP of my scan engine, simple like that. And uh, I can see that the state is filtered. I was expecting something as open, such as open. So, okay, this is an issue. So in my case, it means that my firewall might be blocking something. Again, uh, this is not an enterprise environment, just my home. 
and uh, let's double check the the inbound rules. <clears throat> So on my inbound rules, I can see that I don't have that rule created in, in here. So it would explain the behavior. So I'm just gonna create, I'm gonna give the name next pose. Uh, 40814, 40814. In my case, it is, I have to add it to all of them or doesn't let me choose to save. Again, local IP address. Which IP address is that? Is the machine where my scan engine is installed. So my scan engine is installed in here. So if I give an if config. So IP116. So apply, save. So it has been saved. So this should be enough to solve the the first issue that is a communication between is console to scan engine. So if I end map now, I can see the state is open. Okay, nice. Maybe it should be enough to solve the problem. However, in this case, I, I have created uh, issues from both sides. So I'm just gonna keep it, uh, troubleshooting. So we did state that from console to scan engine, now the port 40814 is opened. So it means that the console will be able to send any request to the scan engine. But let, let's suppose that the, we, we go to the scan, to the a site and ask the console to use the scan engine to scan. It will be able to send to the scan engine, but when the scan engine finishes, it won't be able to send back to the console if this port is not opened. So again, what I'm going to do is the, the same step. So I'm going to nmap dash p 40815 again from the scan engine to console is 40815 and uh, my console IP. Paste. Again, the same problem. So 40815 is filtered, it's not what I'm expecting. Uh, my console it's uh, AC2 uh, AWS machine is an Elastic. So these are my inbound rules, and uh, as you can see here, I don't have any 40815. Or even if I had, I would need to double check if, if this this uh, belongs to this IP address. That is my IP address. So I'm gonna just add it my inbound rules, click here. Uh, sorry for that, guys. Let me just go back in here. I just brought for my other monitor because it might contain uh, sensitive information. So just one minute. So I'm gonna just add in the on the console the port four zero eight one five and I'm gonna give all the IPs. So 
I'm just going to create a general rule. So again, if I bring this back in here, we can see that now I have the port for 0815 for an AP address. Again, on your environment, you would add, you would specify just the address for the specific address for your machine, for your scan engine itself. How I don't have a public ad, uh, IP address, I'm gonna just leave it the way, the way it is. <clears throat> And uh, if I end map now, I can see opened. So before I filtered, I can see opened. So now if I refresh in here, I should not get any error. I just see it was much faster than the, the first time. So again, much faster, you should fix it. Uh, in this case, my scan engine was already paired with the console, but even if it was the first attempt to pair and for any reason the pair is not working, this should be the initial troubleshooting. Okay, so that's it right now. Just, just let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm gonna do any more videos. A uh, few more videos regarding the scan engine and the pairing. Try to to cover other other possibilities because, as I said, this should fix ninety percent of the cases. But there are a few things that we can we need also to double check. That's it. Thank you.